So yes. to, to give a little hope for the future, th- there's a, a prophecy that talks about the various tribes. You started to talk about the tribes, right? The various tribes of the tribes of Israel that went to all different parts of the world. And there were, and there were two tribes, particularly Ephraim and Manasseh, yes. that went up into Germany and then to England and then, of course, to United States and, and Canada. And that and the, those tribes were tribes interested in commerce, business. They were e- e- extroverted, e- e- right? Economy. Economy, mostly. Economy. They, they would be very rich and very uh, wise in economy, economic businesses. Yeah. Ephraim, Ephraim and Manasseh, Ephraim went to England, right? And to the Northern Ireland, Islands. Yeah. And Manasseh came mostly to America, North America. Yeah. And they would have beautiful descendants, like people. The, be- the people would be beautiful, strong. Yeah. And they w- would be very clever and economically very powerful. But they never used this cleverness as God wanted them to use, which is this capacity to produce goods and to create enterprises in like this entrepreneurism yeah, yeah. that characterizes these Anglo-Saxon people. And they became very rich, but rich for themselves. And they exploited the, the other nations and that they would lose everything one day because of their not obeying God's and divine laws. Not using their capacity yeah, to do good, to, to do, do good, yeah, to improve to talents, the life of talents they got from God. They were not using yeah. them as, as as God wanted them to use. Isn't this the problem of the human being in general? Isn't it? Yes, it is. And then there was this other tribe from uh, of the tribes of Israel called Judah. Yeah, which was a tribe of wisdom. The, yeah, the. Um, the superiority, actually, spirituality and wisdom. And that apparently, those tribes apparently went to the Iberian Peninsula. And apparently, and the document, it documented, was documented. Documented to the Iberian Peninsula and subsequently to Brazil. So the prophecy. And, and South America, mostly Brazil. Yeah. And the Judah tribe is the, the tribe of Jesus Christ and the Holy Mother and all the, the apostles. Because they were the wise and the spiritual ones. So, of course, the idea here is that the, the talents, the capacities, economically, politically, need to submit to wisdom. Do you have any doubts that no. the rich people came to the north and the spiritual to the south? No doubt at all. No it's, doubt. No. It's, it's absolutely obvious. Yeah, it's clear. Here, here in Brazil, it's incredible. You can have a, a Jew and an Arab and their enemies everywhere in the world and here they're best friends. And if a person wants to migrate, if they want to become rich, they go to United States That's and true. Canada. That's true. If they want to become spiritual and have a good quality of life and be friendly and have like enjoy music and sun no, no and war, no no terrorism, no fighting, no, yeah. amigos all friends, the time, friends, friends, amigos, amigos. Yeah. They don't want to war, be involved in war, so they come to Brazil. And this explains, it's like an energetic thing, explains so much why we have uh, United States, Canada built on immigration, Brazil built on immigration, completely different spirits. Yeah. Because it's an energetic thing. It's something in the, not in the soil, in the energy, in the, in the, the link. Psychogenetics. Somehow. Psychogenetics. Psychogenetics. Very beautiful, this. Psychogen- it's in our genes, but it's a psychological energetic factor. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. But the good news are, Richard, that one day in the end of times, Ephraim and Manasseh, you will accept and admit the wisdom of Judah tribe. And we'll get together to build the kingdom of God in the planet. It's so powerful. Yeah. Amazing. So I'm still waiting for this day to come and get together with you, English-speaking world, so we can understand our mission, because the time has come. So this happens, and we have the conditions, the means, with this science of analytical trilogy now, to form 
study groups to apply this science, which is very, very powerful science. Yeah. It's, it's not a religion. It, ha it contains, embodies yeah. spirituality, but it is not a religion. It's a science. And, and when we were in the United States, all over the United States, we had so many followers and people that were accepting and living in a, and, and enjoying the idea of building yeah. a true society. Yeah. Beautiful, truthful, fair, peaceful, godly society. <laughs>